well as I remember. Uh, let me share the screen. So that, okay, I think this one, as I remember, we, uh, okay, we started until page 16. As I remember, we completed page 15. Yeah, am I right? Yeah. Okay, good. And now we're going to start with reading section. Worry for retailers. Okay, first of all, before we read uh, the reading section, we're going to learn some words. Okay, so of course we talked about negative and positive aspects of shopping online. Now let's keep going with this word. Okay, so we have some phrases from the article below. And before we read this part, let's match these phrases to definitions. OK, so first of all, we have the phrase the high street. Of course, it means the street in a town where you can find most shops and banks. So for example, this street is the high street. OK, yes. the second one is cutthroat. Do you have any idea? Can you guess? Uh, I guess because uh, I. Uh, I mean, uh, if the separate uh, words, I know the meaning. OK. <laughs> yeah, but okay, it's so. uh, combined to uh, is uh, connect together. I think is about about um, mm, I think control is mean oh how to say it's sure um for example, mm. wow, you can see some cutthroat prices in this store. So Yeah, I know. It's mean too expensive or mm, too expensive. Or... Uh, actually, it means extremely or unfairly competitive. So extremely or unfairly competitive means cutthroat. OK, hmm. so you can compete them. OK, wow. OK. So G can be matched to two. OK, hmm. cutthroat, extremely or unfairly competitive. OK, hmm. they can compete. And number three, a dilemma. Dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. I don't know. Uh, it's like a, a walk. A uh, walk. Uh, 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 walk. A walk. A walk. A walk. Um, awkward. Awkward, awkward. You mean? Okay. Actually, uh, if you pay attention to the meaning of the word dilemma, it's something like difficulty. Okay. Now let's match. So about a a situation in which you have to make a very difficult choice. Oh, so of course, so mm. the meaning of the word is difficulty or problem. So a situation in which you have to make a very difficult choice can be a dilemma. And uh, OK, so. <laughs> OK, uh, it's clear. To, yeah. OK. OK, well. Bricks and mortar. Bricks and more. That is really interesting. Bricks, of course, you know, is something that we use for building. You know, for example, if you want to build a new instruction, so construction, you need to use some bricks. And of course, mortar is a mixture of sand and water that is used to actually build a construction. So. Uh, four bricks and mortar. Which one can be? Mm. Operating in a building. 
That's great. Of course, not on the internet. Of course, that's great. Okay, number five, dual pricing. Uh, um, is dual, 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 dual. What is a something dual? Something like dual, something like double, something like two. Uh, like a, uh, the different. Uh, uh, go to the uh, different shop to compare price and quality. Uh, no. I know. I uh, okay. So as I told you, so dual means something like twin, or you know, it comes from two. So let's take a look at F setting oh, two. Yeah. Things. As we're talking about prices, of course. Yeah, like a so uh, uh, price online and in song. Mm -hmm. with Very good, right? Of course, of course. And uh, margin? Um, margin is... Uh, margin is... Uh, margin... Uh, um, it's a uh, different between uh, the cost. Very good. Uh, yeah, of the cost of buying and the price you sell. Merging. Yeah. Of course. Very good. And the last one to shop about. To shop about, go to different shop to of compare. Course. Very good, of course, very good. So you can something like you know shop around or shop about. You can actually go to different stores, shops to compare prices. Well, yeah. Yeah. okay. Now we know some phrases from this article. Okay, let's read the article and try to find the phrase's definition and try to actually compare some sentences in order to get the meaning of phrases better. Well, are you ready to read this one? Yes. Thank you. Let's get started. Mm. Worry for retailers at web shopping clicks into place by Elizabeth Rippey. For traditional stores, online shopping has become a cause for concern in a difficult retail environment. The internet is accounting for more spend things than ever. In addition, it also makes it easier for consumers to compare price across a far bigger selection of items than a trip to high streets. The way the internet encourages people to shop about is having a big impact on the market, say Nick Gladden of Verdict Research. A consultancy, internet retailers have been able to offer controlled price because they do not have to bear the cost of running a physical shop. Price comparison website such as Keiko, where software can compare prices on any product from DVDs to Prada perfume to get the best deal, make the market even more competitive. Is it a lot more competitive online because you are always just one click away from a river, say a seal? Retailers selling electric goods have been particularly hit by the internet. 
as items such as televisions and DVD players because become more common purchase. This creates creates a dilemma for retailers who sell products both online and in shops. Some bricks and motor retailers are adopting a model of dual pricing in order to keep their position online while maintaining machines in their shops. Mr. Gladding says dual pricing will become harder to practice as consumers become better at surfing the internet. In the longer run, price must come together, he says. To be successful in operate, operating in the online and offline world, retailers should probably try to integrate the two as much as possible. Some business, for example, have set up their operation to allow customers to shop online over the telephone or in stores. Financial terms. Uh, Hmm. Okay. okay. Well, so first of all, let me ask you a question. Okay. So as we realize and we read uh, in the text, online shopping can be actually can make some difficulties for traditional maybe uh, stores. So do you agree? You mean more? Competitive? Of course, you. It, it, I mean, if you want to, actually, if you want to keep going your traditional store, uh, uh, job or occupation, you need to be up to date. You need to follow some online rules. OK, you may need to have an online shop. OK, so what do you think? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. OK, and is there any way uh, is there any way or method that you can save and you can actually continue your traditional method in order to run your occupation and you actually maybe don't need to, you may not need to get some help from online methods or online shops? Do you think, you know, without online shop and of course online method, you can run your own business in a good way? Um, I think uh, it depends on the, the products and of course, I mean, um, nowadays we have uh, uh, nowadays the customers uh, has habits habits to to see uh, some product before they decide to to buy it. Mm -hmm. So, so of course, of course, I know what you say. So we need to have maybe website or I don't know online shop in order to show our consumers or customers our products or goods, so that they can compare, that they can choose, okay, and they can pick the best. So I do agree with you. Okay, good. Well, so uh, we read this text. Is there any word that you didn't get the meaning, something that was difficult? For example, consultancy. Do you know the meaning of this? Yes, I know. Oh, because okay, it's, uh, that's great. Yes, I do. Uh, not with my job, but some. Right. 
Okay, so just there is, uh, I saw, actually, let me check if there is something else that I want to talk about because I think, you know, because I saw, as I remember, slang that's long run, you know, in the long run. As I remember, I saw somewhere, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you read, you know. So in the long run, if I can find it. Ah, here, here. In the long run, of course, you know, this is slang, you know. It means eventually. It means eventually or finally in the end. So it can be used as a slang. So it means eventually or finally or in the end. Hmm. This one, of course. So let me make it better. Okay, let me underline this one. Okay, in the longer one. Okay, well, so let me check. No, there is no other word, but okay, now give two reasons according to the text. Okay, give two reasons why online shopping makes the market extremely competitive. Why? According to the text. Uh, uh, um, I, 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 I see the first, the first reason is uh, uh, is a customer uh, uh, can compare price uh, across a far bigger selection of item mm -hmm. than a cheap to high streets. Mm -hmm. uh, and The second, the second one, uh, I think mm, because I uh, Uh, first of all, let's talk about, let's divide actually these two groups. One group, online sellers. The second group, uh, bricks and mortar, you know, physical stores, physical shops. Uh, so bricks and mortar and online sellers. Okay, so we have these two. As you mentioned, yes, the first one, uh, there is something like actually, uh, shoppers people who want to buy a product or a good can compare you know and can check uh, you know prices and of course compare prices in order to find the best deal so it's it's the first reason that is really good about the second one that is really important when you are an online seller what you don't have Of don't course, have. it's an advantage, something that you don't have comparing a physical seller or a brick and mortar seller. What you don't have, something that can be advantage. I think it's just about uh, how to communicate with the customer and explain and uh, describe a more detail about product with customer. Like of a... course. Yeah, of course, but this is not the reason that we want, mm. you know, something that. Mm. So let me say, let me, let me, let me, let me guide you. OK, so first of all, if you have a store, you need to pay for rent. So yeah. you have some physical costs, fixed costs that you, every month irrespective yeah. of selling or not selling you need to pay but when you are an online seller of course you have nothing you can sit at home and sell something 
So you don't have these fixed costs. Oh, so, fixed costs. Yeah. Fixed Go. cost, of course, that is really important. So you don't have fixed costs. Uh, so oh. it's something. Yeah. Yeah. So as a person who wants to establish a new business, I say with myself that, OK, why? Why I need to establish a physical business? Let's see it at home and mm. of course find my establish and set up my business okay, without mm. paying lots of maybe months during the month during the month. OK, so that's really easy. So it can make the market extremely competitive. Mm. Okay. The second question. Why are retailers who sell products both online and in shops in a difficult position? Why? Uh, both online in shop in a difficult. Mm. I um extra cost. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay, expand it. Yeah, that yeah. was really good. Extra cost and of course uh, need um, take time to to manage uh, online and offline. I don't know. <laughs> I think foundation oh. is good, base is good, but you need to actually. I don't know, say in different, use it in a different way. Of course, extra cost. That's good. We are talking about physical stores, of course. They have actually, you know, physical stores, you know, running a physical mm. store is more expensive. We know this mm. because yeah. there are some extra costs. So sometimes you have a website and you have a physical store and you want to sell the same product in the store and on the oh, website, but you, yeah. need to, you need to sell them in different prices. Yeah, you different know? So prices. This is difficult, is, of course. Yeah. And as a consumer, I say, okay, why? What's the reason? Maybe the product in the store is, I don't know, how, is more, I don't know, better than an online product or I don't know the quality is higher than online products so this is difficulty you know yeah, I know yeah. because but um, uh, in, in real life I see some uh, I, I see many uh, many retailers they uh, they um, they uh, encourage uh, customers to buy uh, product online yeah and they they say that uh, they say that uh, they will discount the price like uh, 10 to 20 percent for uh buying online yeah of so i think the, the customer knows that uh, knows that um, they uh, they can choose buying online or in store. It depends mm -hmm. on the what what way they want to to buy. You know, and, and, and of course that was really good uh, actual point. But let me ask you, why do you think you know they can sell something in the store? In a, uh, I don't know, higher price, in a high price, but they'd rather send customers and shoppers to online shop. Why do you think? And there actually, I think there is a reason behind it. Why the customer uh, want to buy in shop? No, you said you said some retailers. 
uh, ask consumers or shoppers to, I don't know, buy products online because yeah. there's some discounted products, okay, on yeah. websites. Yeah. But why you think? So why you think? Why I think they do that, or why? Of course, it, why do you, why do? Let me say something. I have I have a store, physical store. Of course, I have an online shop as well. This website is related to my physical store. Okay, I have the same products on my website and in the store, so I can sell my product in the store. For example, in a hundred dollars, but dollar, but. If I want to sell it on on the website, I can, uh, for example, sell it to about 90, 90 dollars. OK, so something like this. Now, someone comes to my store and I actually try to encourage my maybe customer to uh, visit my website and buy my product online. But there is a point here. If I sell this product in the store, maybe I can actually earn more benefits. So what do you think? I don't think so. I can make, you don't think so? Yeah. Of course. So why? Actually, this is the reason they say I why. Why you think? Uh, because uh, you, you said um, maybe you, uh, you can earn more money if the customer buy uh, is in store, but I don't think so. I mean, because uh, like you said before, uh, of course, if, if the customer ca come, already come, we, mm -hmm. we, uh, mm, uh, I will, uh, uh sell or uh product uh, for them in the store mm -hmm. as much mm -hmm. as i can but if uh um but i will uh uh ask them to visit my website to buy mm -hmm. in the next time uh, mm -hmm. buying online in the next time because I think uh, I uh, just need to pay for uh, for um, uh, del delivery mm -hmm. uh, and yeah uh, I mean is uh, I, I can cut cost like mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't need the um, the 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 uh, staff. I mean, uh, uh, sales sales staff. Uh, uh, and I don't need to. Uh, I don't uh, need the uh, store to present my product. How to say? Mm -hmm. Af and mm -hmm. uh, like uh, electric and water and yeah of I course think. of course you have some monthly of course you have some monthly bills that you need to yeah. pay yeah. yeah i know irrespective you sell products or no so something that you need to pay every month okay of course and but there is uh, another reason that why people do this Actually, discounted products on websites a really, 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 really good way to advertise a business. For example, I have my own store. Now, of course, I know I'm really aware of costs, monthly costs. Now, I can do something. I can boost the rate of view of my website. After that, now I have my shoppers. I have my customers on my website. OK, everything is OK because I sold lots of maybe discounted products on my website. Now I have my customers on my website. OK, it's time to close and reduce costs. 
Now I can focus on my website and my online shop and I don't need to run my physical business anymore. What do you yeah. think? <laughs> I think if if uh, if or uh, I were if I uh, am a retailer, I want two two ways mm -hmm. because um, I don't know maybe it's uh, about uh, the culture, but uh, I usually think. If we have the store, it's about mm -hmm. brand. It's right. uh, yeah, appear, appearing. Of it's course. About, um, mm, uh, it's about, I don't know. You know, as you mentioned, of course, you're definitely right. But you are talking about brands, not retailer. You know, you know, if you own a small business or if you own a really famous brand, of course, they're really different. You know, so if you're a brand, if you if your name is a brand, if your logo is a brand, you don't think of monthly costs because you are a brand. You mm -hmm. have your, but in the way, you know, during the way that you want to be a brand, you mm -hmm. want to return actually, yeah, so turn into a brand. It's really difficult to actually have this monthly costs, have your customers, have your maybe benefits, and of course, so it's really hard. So I'm talking about retailers, maybe some small business, you know, businesses, not uh, brands. But yeah. you're definitely right. Yes. Okay. Let's keep going. Number three. Why is the practice of dual pricing? Uh, only a short-term solution according to Mr. Gladding. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Gladding say yeah. dual pricing will become harder to prioritize time as consumers become better at surfing the internet. Must come together. Oh. Mm. The two add madness. Of course. Hmm. That's a, a low customers to shop online over. Hmm. Why? Uh. I think because the middle lighting. Uh has a point, his point of view about dual pricing only a short term solution because uh, he think the price must come together. I think because uh, he, 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 Mm. I, I don't know how, how they are he. Okay, let's paraphrase. Of course, uh, you gave and you found the correct answer, but let's paraphrase it. So, according to the text and the sky, okay, actually, consumers will become better and better at surfing the inter internet. So, this is. So, okay, as a result, online and offline prices 
dual pricing, so online and offline prices, okay, will have to be the same. You know, eventually, finally, they have to because as a consumer, as a customer, I can, okay, uh, I can surf the internet, I can compare prices online and offline. So they have to be the same, finally, eventually. So this is the answer, okay? In the longer run, as I told you, means finally, eventually, okay? And prices must come together. It means they have to be the same, similar, okay? Yeah, I can see the, the yeah, it's in the text, but I still thinking why he thinks so. Okay, because we have, we, I told you, let me say again, just Zip, would you uh, sh share your camera again? Because I don't have your face. Okay, so would you share your camera again? Oh, I think. I'm still here. I still here. Yeah, you yeah, here. I, I can hear you. Uh, it's okay. It's okay now. Because I can't I mean, see you uh, anymore. My camera. Oh. Okay, my camera okay. It's okay. It's okay now. It's okay. Well, why? Why does he think like this? As I told you, people are becoming better and better at surfing the internet. It means yeah, I can surf I know. the internet. So I can compare prices. So they need to, they need to, they have to give me the same prices online and offline. Because if they don't do this, they will lose their consumers. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, if they compare, if I compare the, the price, online and offline and I see I can see the price uh, buying online is cheaper so I uh, I can choose uh, to buy online or come to offline right so uh, if I don't I I know the 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 price uh, online online price is cheaper but I think um, I mean it's it not just uh, it is just as I am um, it's not uh, uh, how to say because I don't uh, I don't have a chance to try it on and uh, how to say? I mean, I know why the the online price is cheaper. Mm -hmm. so. I I I I never. I mean, I I compare the price online and offline, but I never think. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, should be. Uh, uh, has same price. Of course, but you know, as we talked, uh, you know, traditional stores need to need to pay, you know, some fixed cost, but online shops don't, you know, yes. so they don't need to. So of course, maybe this is the reason that why online prices are cheaper and lower than uh, yeah. sometimes the offline prices so but if you know and as you know money is really important so more than trying on you know okay you can buy clothes and you don't need to try it on but if you can save your money it's better so this is a better reason to yeah. uh, to purchase so I think okay if they don't do this what will happen to traditional stores uh they still have um as a uh, customers 
uh, who yeah. want to buy in offline in the store, yeah. not in online. I'm um, and yeah, uh, that is his opinion. But my opinion is first. Of course, you think, of course, I do agree. You think, as you say, traditional stores have their own customers, of course, consumers. It's OK, of course, they. but we are talking about future, you know, step by step. OK, maybe uh, online sites, websites will be more reliable. Yeah. People actually, you know, maybe. We don't know, but this is something about future. But of course, I do agree with you. Of course, physical stores have their own consumers, shoppers. So this is something that we know. And we have some online shops, of course, and they have. But maybe this is this guy's opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and yeah. the last one, how can retailers how can which retailer make the best of both the online and offline world? Hmm. Uh, I think uh, they can uh, um, for online, they uh, they they need to separate the customer. Uh, I mean, identify the customer, potential customer for online, for offline. They separate it, mm -hmm. and uh, they need to have the different uh, ways to advertise uh, the product mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, I think they they need to uh, they need uh, they they need to build a different strategy for online <laughs> and online. Okay, of course. Well, we have the answer here. Let's check. We have oh. the word integrate to combine to integrate to combine. So. Retailers should probably try to integrate into combine the two offline and online as much as possible. Mm. So, for example, mm -hmm. we have some businesses, for example, have set up their operation to allow customers to online shop, you know, and over the telephone or in the stores. So actually you can give your customers different alternatives you can buy and if you if you have dual prices okay so it's okay if you have the same prices in the store yeah. and on website of course why not mm -hmm. you can have your own customers online customers and offline customers so i think this word can be useful integrate Integrate. you agree Yes. OK, very yes. good. Well, so and OK. Uh, we have uh, so a grammar section here, but you know, I need to talk about it because uh, I have something extra to say about this grammar. Need to, yeah. must, have to, should when so you know, of course, you know this grammar. But I will tell you some details that you may not know. So we will discuss this grammar, of course, next session, because we don't have time to discuss it now. But next session, we'll discuss it. OK, yeah. tell me any questions, any issues. This actually this session was really interesting to me. I really like this, you know, something like discussion is really interesting, especially on mm -hmm. some specific topics. Yes, I I like shopping, so it's uh, it's uh, really uh, interesting uh, subject. But uh, 
I, I uh, still have some confusing in my mind about the, like the, I, I mean, is the business business. We will talk yeah. about business. So uh, I try and try to, to think uh, about business uh, is uh, a bit uh, hard harder uh, hard for me, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I, I think I will. Um, uh, so if I you want to ask me anything, you know, something confusing that you have, you didn't get, of course, you can ask me and I can explain. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I, I mean, I, I need, uh, I will um, read it again. Yeah, and try to, to, to understand this uh, session. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank so. you. You're welcome. That was really, really good time talking to you. So let's check it again. Let's read it again. And of course, next session, if you have any, any confusing points, you will ask me, we'll discuss again. OK, just uh, I don't think so, because this is really easy. You know, I checked it. You know, this is really easy. Just you need to. There is some things. Yeah. You know what? When you read something out loud, do you know? when people read something out loud they actually can get maybe less than they read for example in their mind for example if you read this text for yourself in your mind you can get it better than when you read to me out loud do you know this yeah yes yes of course. Of course. I, I, I i think so I mean, oh, if I read it in my mind, I I will try to see the, the word and oh, the sentences. But if oh, I read it out loud, I just try to say out oh, of my mouth. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So you focus, of course. Yeah. So you okay. can't understand. You can understand. You can get the meaning that uh, of what you are reading. So yeah. this is something that if you read it again, of course, you will get this text completely. Okay. Uh, well, so yeah, and uh, nice quick. I think we uh, we should try to. Um, to do the makeup session for what day monday or which let me check well what? we have monday and thursday so okay. we need to um, set up on other days like uh, uh, maybe in the morning if you morning can morning is really good morning is really good so you know because your morning of course this is my last time so at the end of the day so i think i can so why not okay just mm -hmm. let's think of it and uh, you know give me your if you your suitable time uh, so that okay. i can re reschedule so yeah. of course why not uh, next next monday i will tell uh, tell you of yeah course, of course, of course. Time. yeah thank uh, you bye thank you have a good night goodbye